गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पार्ट थ्री विल कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड ऑलमोस्ट वी शेल कंप्लीट द लेसन आर पावर्टी लेवल्स आर फॉलोइंग एंड आर अचीवमेंट्स आर बींग ग्लोबली रिकोगनाइज टूडे येट वी लैक द सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस टू सी आर सेल्फ एज अ डेवलप नेशन सेल्फ रिलायंट एंड सेल्फ एश्योर्ड इज इन दिस राइट चिल्ड्रन इट मीन्स दैट द परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल बिलो पॉवर्टी लाइन इज डिक्रीजिंग द अर्निंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ पीपल इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड आर अचीवमेंट्स इन ऑल फील्ड सच एज एजुकेशन इंडस्ट्री साइंस एंड इकोनॉमी एक्सेट्रा is being noticed and accepted all over the world so although we are progressing we lack self confidence to see ourselves as developed nation we should become more and more self reliant and self assured uh, he emphasizes that india must stand up to the world now what let us see his third vision i have a third vision that india must stand up to the world or no one will respect us only strength respects strength we must be strong not only as a, a military power but also as an economic power both must go hand in hand so what does he say he further states that our military power and economic power should become strong simultaneously because only strength respects strength so no one is going to respect a weak weak country so strength respects strength it means the strong and powerful re- will respect the strong and powerful countries and hand in hand is a phrase uh commonly used it means closely associated and connected let us move on to the next para why are we in india so embarrassed to recognize our own strength why he puts forth a question to the listeners that why do we not acknowledge our strength acknowledge means accept or admit the truth we are the second largest producer of wheat in the world we are the second largest producer of rice we are the uh first in milk production we are number 1 in remote sensing satellites look at dr sudarshan he has transferred the tribal village into a self sustaining self driving unit there are millions of such achievements but our media is obsessed only with bad news and failures and disasters now children in this para he puts forth our strengths which we people easily ignore and hesitate to admit uh such as uh we are the second largest producer of wheat uh we are the second largest producer of rice and we are the first in milk production etc etc uh further he states that media is interested in bringing failures and bad news just for cheap publicity and he gives one example of dr sudarshan who has transformed a tri- tribal village into self sustaining and self driving unit uh, what do you mean by self sustaining uh, self sustaining means uh, able to continue in a healthy state without outside assistance means he has uh, con- transferred tribal villages into uh, such uh, uh, units that they are able to um, continue their livelihood without outside assistance without anyone's assistance and dr sudarshan that is dr hanumappa sudarshan who hails from karnataka is an indian social worker and a tribal rights activist so he gives example 
that when it is possible in uh, of transforming a small tribal village into a self sustaining unit why can't we transform our india why can't we as a whole become self sustainable is that clear so that is really a matter of concern that we should think over it uh, let us move on to the next slide do we not realize that self respect comes with self reliance uh he puts forth a question which actually says that self respect will help us to become self reliant i was in tel aviv once and i was reading the israeli newspaper tel aviv is a place located in israel it was the day uh it was the day after a lot of attacks and bombardments and deaths had taken place the hamas had struck but the front page of the newspaper had the picture of a jewish gentleman who in 5 years had transformed his desert land into an orchard farm and granary it was this inspiring picture that everyone woke up to the gory details of killings bombardments and deaths were inside the newspaper buried among other news isn't it possible in our country i want to live in a developed india so children uh, uh, the city tel aviv city was uh, attacked with bombs uh, by hamas hamas is uh, an israel an islamic resistance movement uh very active in that area so it had the city it had attacked the city with bombs but the newspaper did not highlight this news on the front page rather it printed that news on some other page among the news which were of less importance whereas the front page covered the news of a jewish gentleman who had transformed his desert land into an orchard farm and granary now children being a desert it is really difficult to uh, grow uh, plants but uh, this was a really uh, big news that a jewish gentleman uh, from israel transformed his desert land into an orchard farm orchard uh, farm means the farming of beautiful showy flowers so he transformed that desert land into an orchard farm and granary uh, uh, granary means a storehouse for threshed grain so that was really a nice picture uh, inspiring picture which uh, and an inspiring news uh, that was printed on the front page so he puts forth a question why is it not possible in our country because in our country the media loves to print everything negative uh, and uh, loves to uh, print bad news on the front page uh, rather than uh, highlighting something good uh, to be on the front page so he states that he wants to live in a developed india uh, gori means involving bloodshed and violence and self driving means controlling one self uh, let us move on to the last para of the chapter another question why are we as a nation so obsessed with foreign things obsessed means extreme interest in something so as to lose control over one's feelings uh we want foreign tvs we want foreign shirts we want foreign technology why this obsession with everything imported do we not realize that self respect comes with self reliance so children isn't it true 
we purchase clothes of foreign brands gadgets accessories and what not of foreign brands how will our economy strengthen if we do not purchase things manufactured in our country with the globalization it has become more easy to purchase foreign articles so he questions why do we indians have this obsession for foreign goods how shall we become self reliant because we are lacking self respect how will our economy strengthen if we not purchase our uh, uh, our own goods coming to the next para i was in hyderabad giving this lecture when a 14 year old girl asked me for a, for my autograph i asked her what her goal in life is she replied i want to live in a developed india for her you and i will have to build uh, this developed india you must proclaim proclaim means declare so children this motivational speech of dr kalam is uh, is an inspiration for all of us to transform india into a developed nation for that we all need to follow dr kalam's three visions that will set a path to reach our goal so let us all resolve to make india a developed nation here we finish the lesson explanation children i hope you all understood uh, the entire lesson uh, if not go again through the videos and read the lesson carefully we shall do with english workshop and grammar in the coming periods thank you